Hey there and welcome back. So I've been covering battles that I haven't been fighting. A lot of you sent in a lot of battles and that was a lot of fun. But I really miss playing the game so I decided to go back into multiplayer which I have done. And here my friend Havoc joined me. We're both trying to get our feet with multiplayer. It's been a long time for me. So here's my North Dakota Army. Let's go ahead and look at it right now. And again if you have any advice on how to make a multiplayer match more entertaining for all of you. Let me know down below. I always read your comments. Okay, so here we have Marauders. We have a Regiment of Renown, Icehorn Raiders. We have Marauders over here. We're looking at multiple Spearmen. A lot of them, actually. We're looking at, what, four groups total? Or is that three? Three groups total. And then over here in the middle, a War Mammoth. Then back here, Marauder Hunters that have Javelins. Over here, Marauders that have Great Weapons. And in the woods, we have Hidden Away Skin Wolves and a Skin Wolf Werekin. Havoc has over here a Grudge Thrower. We're looking at Thunderers. We've got some miners on the left flank, slayers behind, peak gate guard, hammerers, nor grimling iron breakers on the front lines, dwarf warriors. On the right flank, miners that have blasting charges are fighting a Bretonian player that has two regiments of renown. Very cool looking. Over here, peasant bowman. Over here, a vampire count player that has Heimlich Kimla fighting for them. And then on the right flank, we have black knights. So let's go ahead and let the battle play on. They have a lot of trebuchets. They have more artillery than we do, which means that we're going to have a tough time. Already, that cannon is losing it. Not cannon, but catapult. That catapult is not doing so well. I told good old Havoc, let's be patient. Let's wait for a moment. Let's have them come towards me. I knew that my skin wolves could beat those knights. I just needed time. I needed a moment to get ready. And so right now, we're waiting for all of them to come towards us. For whatever reason, the dwarfs and the Norskin warriors have allied and over here there's another abomination of an alliance and unholy union of Bretonia and vampire counts for some reason the day of Dane fits the fight together so we have a Thane over here at the Rune Lord we're looking at his black knights and dire wolves going over onto the right flank the left flank of Havoc and his dwarf army here they come right now the trebuchets are rallying the grudge drawer though they would have had a much better time if they only targeted his infantry that grudge drawer probably would not have done a lot of damage by the time they reached our lines but if they hit our actual infantry blocks we would have been in big trouble they had the range of a well, hold on it's over here here they come right now my skin wolves are on their way i wanted to go after the black knights i wanted to eradicate them completely Right now, he's got his slayers moving out here. They have anti-large, and they can do a lot of damage. So our goal is to go after them. So now we're waiting. We're looking at a nice little buff up over here. If we go look at that right now, we're looking at Rune of Hearth and Home, Immune to Psychology, Charge Resistance. We have Thunderers on the front lines right now attacking. Look at them. They have fired their first volley. Back here, the Skin Wolves will go after this Black Knights. Here I come right now. I have my Werekin potentially going to Dire Wolves. I'm trying to catch them all. So I'll have to probably get into slow motion at a few points because it does get rather hectic as they're trying to watch so much of the battle. The Black Knights are moving back. The Skin Wolves are now trotting towards them at a, I don't know if you would call that a gallop. But there they are. They've caught them. They're very quick. And even the Slayers have rushed in to fight. Thunderers are still attacking. If you look at them right now, they are taking out so many of the, of the Grave Guard. Tokshin is not here right now. I'm so used to playing with Tokshin that I forgot that Tokshin's not here right now. Anyway, I then had a trap sprung forth. I didn't mention it, but now I'm going to mention it. I was going to Ice Wolves. I wanted to try to get them to the trebuchets if I could. I knew that it was a little bit late. The blasting charges have broken a line of Graveguard, weakening them greatly. Now the Graveguard are charging in. They're all moving in. Havoc begins to move back his frontline soldiers. Thunders are still shooting down at them downhill. They're charging uphill, trying to take on our dwarf army. Well, his dwarf army, not my dwarf army. I'm still waiting for the Bretonian player. I knew that the dwarves could hold against the vampire counts for a long time. Over here, we have skin wolves going after black knights and defeating them easily, ripping them to shreds right now. If you look at it right now, the vampire count player went in alone. My wolves were unable to do a lot, but I was also trying to lure away the knights from the front lines, keeping them from being able to come after me. Here's Wolfric the Wanderer. He's only on horseback. Couldn't afford much more than that. So right now I'm moving up just a little bit. I have my javelins being used to go after these grave guard with great weapons. They brought in a lot of armor piercing, which is not a bad call. Over here, my skin wolves are still eradicating all of the black knights. Over here, they well, only killed one, and they've lost the majority of their number. Here comes a flanking grave guard group. I actually didn't know that hit. Over here, we have Havoc's many thunderers attacking in here. 
Yeah, we went over army compositions together, carefully trying to weigh what would be good to bring in and what wouldn't be good to bring in. So let's keep on looking. My mammoth moves in right now. I knew that my mammoth could take a lot of fire, so I sent it in immediately. Over here, I have Wolfric charging in too. My micromanagement, I was trying to get used to the game again, so it definitely suffered a little bit. And here are my javelins being thrown into combat, going after more enemies. Battle pilgrims, I assume, right? The Holy Wardens of Lama Santon. They're charging again. We're killing many of them. They have a very high melee attack, and it's magical and has a chance to inflict flaming damage. Havoc is destroying the Vampire Count player who opted for a frontal attack, which was a very bad idea. On the left flank, those Black Knights are still fighting Slayers, The Slayers have killed over 40 of them. My Skin Wolves are still traveling around as a motley woven crew, destroying so many. Back here, my Wolves are still alive, the Knights are moving back in, but they were drawn away. My Wolves are cheaper than our Knights, so we had mighty units thrown away over here. The blasting charges with the miners are moving in, or the miners with blasting charges are moving in. My mammoth is still over here, killing, having killed over 67. The trebuchets are trying to hit me right now, and they are about to do a lot of damage. Here comes my werekin and skin wolves, now going after more regiments of renown. I'm killing so many of them. I was a little bit worried about King Luan Lianca, but I knew that I could take out a lot of their knights with my skin wolves. They're just really that strong right now. Thankfully, Havoc was able to hold. The zombies were brought in from behind to disrupt the Thunderous. Probably a little bit too late. I don't know if they could do enough to stop him. Over here, my army's still waiting. My mammoth has killed over 100 infantry. The battle's intense. It's happening all over. I mean, look at the time and how much has gone down. I swear marauders are over here with their beautiful cloaks. I'm helping him a little bit against the mini grave guard that is still fighting. Back here, that probably did a lot more damage to them than taking out the zombies, I'm not too sure, but the zombies do decay over time, so that probably did a lot of damage in friendly fire. Back over here, I have one group of skin wolves that are finally leaving. They've killed 60. Here comes some skeleton spearmen, which are definitely strong. Seven left in that group. My warrior can have killed 18. Over here, I have Norskin ice wolves holding them back right now. They're deep buffed. They have that frostbite. Here comes another charge from my mammoth right now with Wolfric. I just had him going out, trying to go after whatever they could. Yeah, I had him going after crazy targets like the Beast Slayers of Boston. Kept using my javelins. I was sticking my time, keeping them in reserve. I knew that we could outlast them. It was just a matter of trying to outlast them. And over here, we have more Grave Guards still fighting the Dwarf Warriors who are able to hold back to all their buffs and high leadership and high armor. Wolfric is moving in. I knew that... Oh, it's actually... Albrecht de Bordelot. My bad, not the King Luan Lianca. Here comes the Dire Wolves right now. They weren't actually around to fight. I've got some units moving back to try to defend that line. My War Mammoth is still striking. I'm still winning. No matter how good you are, I'm still gonna kill a lot of you. I've got ranged attacks. Ranged attacks, bitch! Over here, let's go Ice Wolves are now playing again. Here come the Skin Wolves who have killed 59. They're charging back in, going after many knights. Cutting them down. One was stricken down right before our very eyes. He will not be getting back up. He is now down. Let's go back over here and witness what the War Mammoth is doing. I've taken a lot of damage. I feel like the Peasant Bowman should have targeted that one target immediately. My cheap Marauder Spearmen are not important right now. Sure, they might die, but who cares? I have a War Mammoth charging through his soldiers. Over here, I've got my Marauders also helping out. 135 for my War Mammoth. One enemy Lord is dead. Kimler died in that battle. Here comes some more Skeleton Spearmen. The Vampire Count player is beginning to crumble and fade. Let's go over what's happening right now. So if we go look at it, Albrecht is still fighting. He's trying to go after my skin, Wolf Werken, who is anti-large. He's taking a lot of damage. He did beat Wolfric the Wanderer immediately. I have great weapons that are charging in right now. I'm bringing in some units to go fight some battle pilgrims who are left. Over here, we've got a few men arms with pole arms. Back here, we have this Marauder Hunters with Javelins that have 49 kills. Look at miners that have broken. We've got to remember to bring them back. It's always very difficult to bring them back after you're already watching a battle play out. The Dire Wolves were not used well. They went after my Icehorn Marauders, and, well, they're not going to win. I think I was busy moving them away, though. Fortunately, Havoc was able to hold strong and essentially deflect that undead player. He didn't have enough units that could break the line. He had basic line units that are mighty, but they need something a little bit more umph to actually break the line. So over here, we're looking at the Knights of the Lionhearted and their Knights of the Realm, and they're in a formation right now. 
not having to worry about my anti-large attacks, not yet. Over here, miners are moving in. Well, actually they do. I have Marauder Hunters who are now throwing some more weapons. I think I'm trying to target Albrick, but Friendly Fire, or not Friendly Fire, but nearby attacks will definitely go after the Knights who are nearby. Back here, these peasant bowmen have probably done a lot of damage to me. The Trebuchets were well worth the cost, and they did a lot of damage. They did a lot. They could have dictated range. You didn't actually need to go after us. If you can win the ranged battle, you don't need to actually go after us. You could have waited. Beautiful animation is by that creature. Go Albrick. He's moving back now, trying to go after other targets. So where can I have going after peasant bowmen? Having killed a few of them. Over here, we have more skin wolves who are fleeing. Those knights have finally broken through my skin wolves. I have Wolfric moving back. He has 50 kills. Havoc is probably getting everything together. It was a very hectic fight. I mean, if you look at the sheer amount of bodies, so many died here. This is a huge battle, a very intense battle where so many died. Dire Wolves are over here, nine, nine kills. They actually got a lot more kills now. They're going to Thunderers. Over here, I've got some warriors who are fleeing. I've got my great weapons who are still going on. Hold on, let's go look at my warriors real quick. I just want to make sure that they have their stuff. Their rage. There we go, rage. More leadership, more physical resistance, and more melee attack. That makes them better. These peasant bowmen are still here. The trebuchets are still doing their thing. I have my work in moving. Albrecht is unable to keep on going. He's lost a lot. So we've won the battle. We killed a majority of their army. While they kept fighting, we just had more. We had so much more than they did. So we were able to win. So if you look at it right now, let's go look at it right now. Wolfric, 57 kills. Skin Wolf, Werken. 34 kills, Marauder 62 kills, so they could have been a little bit more defensive waiting for us. They probably could have used their knights together. It's definitely very hard to take down my skin wolves. That probably would have been my big target trying to take them down, trying to protect my knights or using some tertiary units to help them out. He upgraded a lot, which is interesting. I don't know if I would have done that. I probably would have brought in more fodder. He could have used a lot more infantry. Not all of them were elite, though he had a lot of battle pilgrims, and they were tough. Over here, the Vampire Count player got a lot of kills, but the Black Knights are too cheap, and Kindler's just not a great leader to keep if you just want to break through a line. Well, they did fight well. Maybe they could have beaten me. I don't know, but they were also upgraded, so they could have used a little bit more variety. And that was their first battle, and my first battle in a very long time. Havoc over here brought in a Rune Lord, so he didn't need to actually bring in a Rune Priest. We're looking at a Thane who was able to hold the line and assist his line in holding defensively. That Pete Gate Guard demolished so many enemies. 186. We got the Nord Grimling Iron Breakers. Again, there's units that have a little bit more umph who are able to do a lot of damage. The Thunderers were able to do so much damage. 91, 44, 118. They were able to get so many shots off. Even the Dwarf Warriors who are cheap were able to get a lot of kills in. So, I mean, that was a great battle. All right. Down below, let me know about any build that you want me to use. Give me some ideas on maybe even a theme. I would like to see your challenges and that would be a lot of fun. But make sure to give it a little bit of thought, not just like spam a bunch of dire wolves or whatever. Give it a little bit of thought. Give me a format and I'll try it out. If there's any build that you want me to try out for you, I can do that. If you would like to join other players in our little Discord community, I do have a link to it down below. Join our Total War Warhammer community. We have other games too, like Mountain Blade and just a bunch of others. We have a bunch of channels where you can chat and I'm on there pretty much every day unless I'm on a trip or I'm just away from home. So make sure that you check it out. And if you would like to support my channel with $1 a month, that would be fantastic. So again, check out that too. And don't forget to sub to my channel. And as always, until then.